started, I'm going to introduce our speaker for this event. He is an alumni of this institution, an electronics and communications graduate, a father of three children and also a husband of Elisaria. He was the first Filipino that created a super satellite for cable television. He is the owner of Connect the Dot Company. I'd like to present to you Mr. Adrian Joseph Francis Fernand. Thank you for that warm introduction, Mr. Matulak. Dear Lasallian, distinguished faculty, alumni, proud parents and family members, and most importantly, members of the graduating class of 2014, thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to speak here in front. And thank you for inviting me to join this wonderful celebration. Congratulations, Batch 2014, the Salans. Outstanding, notable, remarkable. It is an honor for me to be with you, all of you here today. It's been almost a decade after I graduated from this wonderful school. <coughs> now, I welcome you into the fa alumni family of leadership and service. Our country is fighting its way to improve our economy. And let's be part of it. Unemployment rate is still rising. But I'm here with you today to urge you to look beyond those challenges because overcoming these challenges is what breaks and what makes your way to success. What do you want to be when you grow up? Or what course do you want to take for college? I'm sure that all of you have heard and had been asked by your parents this same question. I also had that awkward silence with my parents and that deep thought in my mind about what I would like to be after I've been asked that question. But until now, I still can't find an answer to that question. I guess why all of them are asking that same question is to put our minds into practice and to thinking deeply, because we're all going to need that for college. As a high school student, I have also experienced having failing marks, lots of cramming, and long nights without sleep while working on requirements that should be passed in the morning. Those made me realize that my brain works better during the night than during daytime. There was this one prof professor I had during college. I'm sorry, but I barely remember his name. But his words really touched me. He shared his teachings to me whenever we become noisy, fail an exam, or even just forget our manners in his class. I don't know if these are the correct words he said, but I hope that it would be close enough for you to understand and also be inspired by him. Whenever we become noisy in his class, he will just pause until everyone settles down and listens. After that, he would say that listening is very important for everyone because when no one listens, there will be no peace and understanding in this world. I will not force myself to talk and talk here while you don't understand what I'm talking about here in front. I did not pay you to listen to me, and that's why I do not lose anything when you're not paying attention. In this case, you are the one who are paying me to teach you some things in this class. So pay attention, because when, when you talk to your seatmate, you are not only disturbing your seatmate and your classmate, but you are also disturbing yourself from listening to important things I say here in front. When we feel bad about our marks during exams, he would always say that your marks are not important. It is just a piece of ink I used to grade your work. But what is important is what you learned while taking that exam. You are not going to be disowned by a company if your marks are low or if you fail some subjects during college. They are going to rate you by your skills and performance, not your intelligence. What takes credit here is you tried no matter how many times you fail, still try, because trying is always better than giving up. Who can tell? Maybe you just lacked effort or you just need to try harder the next time. The most important thing that he said in our class, this happened when some, someone in my class stepped out of the room without asking permission. He said, some are blessed with the good genes and intelligence when they are born. Some are lucky that they have rich parents that could send them to a good school. But good looks, 
wealth and intelligence are just things that you acquire or were given to you although you should be thankful for it but character was, is what more important because you don't acquire by car or by character you need to work on it you work for it character is what makes your personality character is what makes other people think about you and character is what makes you a good and respectable citizen it is always better to graduate with outstanding grades but failures are what makes you strive even harder for excellence remember all the things i said to all of you listen always try hard and work on your character I hope I have left an impact to your young mind. Practice, practice this, and you will do just fine in the next page of your life, which is in college. Thank you for having me here. Congratulations once again, and God bless us all.